to you, and welcome to the first episode of Project Ozone 3, not the Kappa mode, Mythic apparently. I don't really know what happened to Kappa, I liked Kappa. Let us get a random act of kindness. Thank you for the sapling. Lovely to know that we have twerking, which doesn't work. You don't really want to grow, do you? This is an amazing start. Okay. Oh, it's because of the light. My bad. Well, we got two saplings. That's awesome. Let us get a bit more wood. Oh, this is the difference. One log one plank and i just dropped them in order to avoid making any more droppage uh, maybe we should make a small platform yeah much better and before we progress any further remember that you have to hold shift and right click very important in every single mod pack it seems oh they finally fixed it you can hold stone and right click anyways that should be enough for the moment we just compress them get a builder's wand and we start expanding our territory now that we have a decent platform let us check out the quests uh, what should we do right clicking okay and a ton of wood there are two things that i love in life my beautiful eyes and right clicking i do have a feeling that this should be enough for the moment yep probably we just press k compress everything and of course compress it again we make our first furnace which i just realized i can't really remove it but it's fine we just want some charcoal mobs are not really gonna spawn but let us have a few torches just in case and we put f7 on at all times uh, over here we're fine uh, we have the botania light while we are gathering some wood it does make sense to have a few crooks which apparently was a quest the thing is i don't mind some words since this is the mythic mode i guess multitasking is very important we're gonna infest the leaves so that we get some string and I'll gather some pebbles. I have missed this. It's a lovely food. Probably horrible in real life. But we should have some string. Perfect. Even though we have tons of string, we're still going to use the crook because we get more worms and we get more apples and more saplings. I have been punching a ton of wood. I have been gathering resources. I infested more trees. And I think now the most important thing to do is to do some sieving. For the moment, we can make eight sieves. And I really prefer to have eight of them rather than nine because it works well with a stack. Ah. This is called wasting of resources, but it's fine. So I'm going to do this only once because every time I don't do that, somebody mentions it in the comment. We're going to compress the cobblestone, then we're going to hammer it. But I'm never going to do that again because I don't like it. That's all I wanted. A bit of flint. Here, let us get ourselves a pattern chest, stencil table, tool station. And I think the last one was, yeah, a part builder. And just to make sure that the quest is complete, a crafting station fine by me the reason that i wanted some flint was to make the tool heads out of flint you don't have to really do that but i like flint tools the other parts are going to be made out of wood because of ecological we have a mattock are you guys good i just got some cobblestone hammered it down to gravel i got sand and i got some dust because now one of the most important things that we need to do is to get some buckets you know despite what i said i don't really like holding right click so if we do manage to get a cobblestone generator as soon as possible i'm going to be happy for the moment, we also get a crucible. It does require a heat source, so a torch for the moment, and we try to get some water. And in the meantime, since I'm a very impatient person, can we make some glass bottles? And you know, get water from here and put it in the barrel? Yes. So in this way, I can get some clay. I don't know if last time we did this or not, but this was amazing. We have our buckets. We just have to cook it. Lovely. As for the rest of the dust, I believe if we sieve it, yep, we're gonna get bone meal. Very important. Just the one. That was garbage. Uh, the thing is, uh, we need to make an unfired crucible, which is made with porcelain clay, and that is a combination of clay and bone meal. And I have been keeping the diamond for this occasion, so let us get the diamond wand and start hammering down. Come on. I just need seven pieces of bone meal. Please. I think we have it. Yes. Another very important thing is since we have some water, maybe we should make an infinite water source. Doesn't have to be fancy. And you come with me. Lovely. And please ignore the fact that I made so many barrels. We don't need them. So some porcelain and clay. Unfired crucible. We fire it. We get our crucible. And if we give it some cobblestone, that should give us one bucket of lava. In about a million years, apparently. Yeah, I just remembered why we needed barrels. It's for the dirt. But in the meantime, our bucket of lava is ready. So thank you. And with that, we should be able to make the most garbage cobblestone generator. I believe if you just put a chest on top, it should auto-output. Yep. Oh my goodness, you're slow. Oh, and the next tier is blocks of iron. Interesting. I'm just saying maybe we should help it a bit. Just a bit. The goal is to try and upgrade the meshes as soon as possible. For the moment, we should be able to upgrade three of them into flint. That should very slowly give us some iron. Yeah, very slowly. Actually, it's not that bad. It's every time. We have 50 pieces of iron. That gives us 12 iron ingots. And I believe in the meantime, maybe we should make one more cobblestone generator. We are getting all kinds of garbage. But that is the garbage I want. Bone meal. I forgot one of the things that you're never short on in this mod pack is going to be iron. Whatever you sift, you just get iron. But here is our second cobblestone generator. We put it over here. I do admit, it's not great. 
but it should build up over time. Another very important thing that I think we should do as soon as possible is to upgrade the chest. For the moment, this is going to be our ore chest, so the bigger it is, the better. And funny thing, I was checking the recipe for the drawer controller and, uh, hi. I guess. I don't even know what the hell. Oh, magnetic craft. You need so much garbage. We have a decent supply of iron, so let us upgrade our meshes. We need just a bit more. Come on. I didn't really remember, but yeah, the next tier is diamonds. You get it from gravel. Give me diamonds. Please. We got an emerald. Oh, we got one. Lovely. Okay, I have been saving for a while and I just wanted to have four diamonds. Because here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a furnace, upgrade it into an iron furnace, wait for it to count, upgrade it into gold, again, please count. And normally if you're prepared, you would be able to upgrade it into diamonds, but I needed some glass. Anyways, diamond furnace. And finally, emerald. This should be like way faster. Oh my goodness, this is lovely. For some reason that I do not understand, those were the only diamonds I got. Look, this amount of gravel should give us some diamonds. Okay, we got two. Also, in the meantime, uh, let us try to improve things a bit. Can we make a hopper? I have no idea why, but... Uh... But we can. So for the moment, the furnace goes up there, a hopper, and a chest. Uh, cause this stupid chest is getting full up. I need to process the ores and throw away the candy. It's so nice to be in the void. You can throw out everything. At least we can use one of the diamonds in order to make another diamond wand and I can get back to hammering down. Which in hindsight, it's actually a horrible thing to do during the night. Cause uh, it's not lit up, but it's fine. We are men, we are not brave. We just do stupid things. Yes, finally. Six diamonds. A diamond mesh is actually going to give us a higher chance of getting diamonds. It would be lovely if you give me diamonds. No, I thought I'd check. One of the things that I forgot to check is that can we make a block of iron? No. You need a smeltery for that then. I just wanted to upgrade our cobblestone generators, but apparently we can't really do that right now. You know what? Sieving is not really paying off. And the reason for that is that I'm not getting cobblestone fast enough. So let's get into Tinkers, get a few iron blocks, and upgrade the cobblestone generators. This should be a decent supply of dust. We should get enough bone meal, hopefully. Yeah, it's not that bad. We need a ton of porcelain and clay. And we should be careful with the blaze powder. I think if it falls down, it's gonna set everything on fire? Maybe not. I remembered something. Maybe I was wrong. I don't really know how many we need. Oh, that was a lovely number. <laughs> we can have 41. And what we want to do is to try and make this beautiful smeltery from Tinker's compliment. So you, stop smelting iron. Let us see how far we can go. We can have the tank. We use the tank in order to make the melter. Therefore, I think we're going to need another tank. For the moment, a casting basin. And don't you have a faucet? There is a faucet. Oh, Ooh, that was a horrible mistake. Not horrifying. But not great. Very good. We just need a tree and we have it. Here is my stupid faucet. You cook it. And for some reason, the quest is not counting. I need a casting table too. That is perfectly fine by me. I just want to have a block of iron. And we do have lava. Perfect. This is gonna take a while. It just does three ingots. The perfect solution to everything. A hopper. Around 450 gravel gave me five diamonds. But it's good. Now that we have two diamond meshes, I can use them. They have higher chances, so we should be fine. It's incredibly slow, but uh, I'm very desperate. Also, I am making the iron blocks. Don't you worry. Oh, we're out of lava. Oh, we can't make a bucket. Why? Oh, it's a uh, iron plate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's fine. I'll fix that later on. After we get diamonds. Don't think this was a very super amazing idea to use lava. So here's what we're going to do. It's fine. We can waste that iron. Which then again, maybe I shouldn't have. The heater accepts solid fuel and we have plenty of coal. But it cannot smelt down iron. Uh, can you do grout? Yes. That's the entire point anyways. It does also work with gold. So we can have our ingot cast. Let's also try and get a few of these redstone ingots. That gives us a redstone clock. And do your thing. And one very important thing that I kind of forgot is that uh, we need to hopper it out. Yeah. Yeah, this should work fine. Once it does smell the grout. Could take ages. We're going to need some zinc. Because I do have the blocks in order to make the anvil. And I have no idea why I'm not doing that. I keep losing my buckets and I have to use a bottle. Zinc comes from sifting sand and this is why we had none. But we only need three pieces. Here is an anvil. And here is a crushing table. I don't really remember. I think this was the hammer. Maybe. So do you give me plates? Yes, that was the way. It has garbage durability, but we just need three plates. And here is an actual bucket. It has been a few minutes later, and you might notice that six of our missions are made out of diamond. That is what I call progress. But you might notice our chances of getting diamonds is getting better and better. Well, it's not great. I think for the last diamond, it's just gonna make me suffer. And that is literally the final mesh. Finally. <laughs> here is the final mesh. And we can now get to the important stuff. After I have cleaned up the garbage a bit. So what we want to do is that at this very moment, I want to have some paper. I think we should be able to hammer down, yes, blocks. We get sawdust. And this is the good sawdust because it should give us paper. And this is the part that I'm not exactly sure. If we come to magnetic craft and look for a shelving unit, uh, can we have some storage? 
Please? I don't think that's expensive. It's just stone and boards. This is going to be our applied energistic system for the foreseeable future. Oh, the shelving unit was even a quest. This is probably one of the most stupid things that you can do, expand your platform during the night, but I don't really have a choice. Well, I do have a choice. I could have waited until morning. And the very next thing that we have to do is to take care of wood. I'm almost out. And I just remembered that this is the mod pack where we have the Chanzina creepers. So if we put one of you over there, that is fine. We're gonna have two of them. And we just right click on the controller. Yes, yes. I guess we should be able to have a three block gap and one more. The good thing about these shelves is that if you provide them with some chests, like so, you just add as many as you want. Well, not as many as you want, apparently 16. Yeah, exactly 16. You will have inventory for 16 chests and you can also search for it. I made two of them just because I want to use one of them for all the ingots that we're going to get and it's going to be a lot of them. And the other one for routine crafting. We can also make a drawer, but these ones look cool. Bit of organization is always nice and yes, I have noticed you. Didn't know it does that. Anywho, we are going to make much more grout because you wouldn't believe how slow this guy is. I mean, during this entire time it was working and that's it. But we also do need to fix a few more stuff. For example, we need to have some bonsai pots. Did I crash? No? That was weird. It's very soon to experience crashes. Ironically, botany pots don't really have a complicated recipe, it's just bricks. And by botany pots, I meant bonsai pots. Yeah, it's just bricks and a hopper. So cheap. As it turns out, we didn't even have enough wood in order to make a drawer, so we have to grow a few trees. Yeah, that should be more than enough. We don't really need a crazy amount. I guess for the moment, we just go with three of them. We convert it into hopping bonsai. And I'm not really sure. This is how you make a drawer? Yes, perfect. We put them here. What the? Oh. It's an achievement? I didn't know that. You know, one of the things that I have always missed since the time of 1.12 is this. Literally this one. Tinkers without upgrades is not the best. Very soon we are going to have a smeltery, so let's make more crucibles. And I have been chopping down a lot of trees. What we want to be able to do is to have a very small mob farm. Also, I can put diamonds on my hatchet, right? Not very useful, but it increases the durability. There have been so many versions of Minecraft that I don't really remember how far we should be, but I think it should be around 30 blocks. Which also helps you a bit if you start counting. Well, that was 14. 15. Also, when I was talking about mob farm, it's going to be absolutely one of the most garbage mob farms we have ever made. I just want to be able to whack a few mobs. That's it. And the funny part is that I don't even remember how to make one of these because the last time we made it, I think it was in stone block. And by stone block, I mean stone block one. But let us try and see. If we stand on a slab and have a slab over there, yeah, we should be able to whack them. I'm scared of John Cena's. And we want the mobs to spawn in the chamber, not on top of it. So we put torches. Oh, torches set everything on fire. But we're not getting anything. You see, it's completely dark. It should work. It's fine. I will wait and maybe we should also get a sword. For a second, I thought I made it in a mushroom biome or something crazy. But no, we have someone. We have two someones. Hello? And welcome to my island. And thank you for your contribution. I figured if you have a garbage mob farm, the least you can do is to have some looting on your stupid sword. And I have made the most important discovery. We have the bubbly heart canisters from our lord, Traverse of Darkness. And yes, we also have graveyards. And we have the actual sulfuric acid. So getting inside one is not going to be that painful. Don't you worry. I was also under the impression that we have loot bags. Uh, nothing. Don't be a John Cena. No! That was literally the only thing I didn't want to happen. How did it happen? This is a lovely lesson for me because if you want to kill someone, you shouldn't hesitate, you just have to whack them. I finally remembered that there is something called a flight totem which will give us creative flight, but it's a bit expensive because you need 768 RAKs. I don't really know how long it took us to get it in kappa mode, but here it shouldn't be that much different. Actually, we're 15% there. Lovely. Oh, I have done more quests. Awesome. Wait a minute. You gave me all the kits? The new kind, sir. You come with me. How do you apply the... Oh, okay. You just right-click with the upgrade. Makes a lot of sense. Ladies and gentlemen, we got our first loot back. It's going to be the Sword of the Cosmos. It's actually not that bad. I like pizza. It was meant to happen. So lesson number one, make it one block wide so that the stupid thing cannot see you. And lesson number two, if you have the technology, at least don't YOLO. Make a proper thing. One of the things that we should be able to make easily is an item vacuum from embers. This is a great thing because it's a vacuum hopper. You drop everything, it should collect it. Huh? And do you know why it's not doing that? Because first off, this is embers. Everything is going to need a redstone signal. Like so. And secondly, it did need an empty inventory. This one was not empty. Of course, now the main question is, what is your range? 
Holy, that's great. I already have one of these friender pearls, so we would be able to make a vacuum hopper, but I think this is fine. Because this vacuum hopper is not a full block, so it's going to let light through. This one is a full block. The other items that we're going to use are going to be a few mob mashers, and yes, they're very expensive. And we're also going to have a few mob fans. Uh, I don't know how long is their range. And also, I don't really have that much redstone. Let me try to assess the situation, and I'll be right back. I did a very small feasibility study, and yes, it's very possible, but it does help if we have the smelter first because i am wasting a ton of resources and if we have better tools the easier our job is going to be was that clay no the stupid part is that we are very close to the smelter we have tons of seared bricks and we have this guy which we can use in order to make the actual smeltery so um i think it's stupid not to do that also i have been preparing lava so we should be good i don't really know how far we can progress today if we manage we make the mob farm today if not we just make the smeltery for the moment let us get rid of this garbage i really hate that anywho the smeltery controller. I am making more porcelain and clay, but for the moment we can have one casting table, a casting basin, and I have no idea how you would make a faucet. What's the difference? <laughs> that was almost the same. The recipe for the seared drain has not been changed. We are going to make, I don't know, four of them? Why not? Oh, don't drop the torch. Nope. <laughs> we also need to have a seared tank. Thankfully, this is the recipe. And the rest we can just convert into bricks. <laughs> it's going to be a decent smeltery. Also, remember, I said decent not amazing. If we get one more brick, we can expand it by one more level. Yes. Perfection. It's functional. Oh, now you get the achievement. Now that we have the actual smeltery, let me try to get a few patterns and I'll be right back. I'm trying to prioritize things a bit and I think it's far better if we go to the nether because uh, we would be able to find a better heat source for our crucibles and therefore we're going to have much more lava and therefore we can do more stuff and also if I remember everything correctly there should be ores in the nether oh and by the way I did upgrade my tools all of them are not iron and I did remember that flint and steel does require steel you can make it in the smeltery it's nothing fancy it's just coal and iron where did I put everything? I'm very organized, yes. For now, I just made a yellowium block that should increase our lava production. Yeah, it's 20 times faster. Let us also check if we mix water and lava, do we get obsidian? I got dark steel. How? Oh, that was the obsidian. It's not important. We get our steel. We waste the rest. Now you should give me obsidian. Yep. And we can cast it out. We do have enough obsidian to make a normal portal, but the portal has to be a 3x3, three three, so I need to wait a bit longer. We have our 12 pieces of obsidian, the portal is almost complete. Oh my goodness, I forgot some light. With having John Cena's, it's actually very dangerous, so I'm not being paranoid. At least not more than usual. Anyways, I was going to say that we have our obsidian. I made two more pieces, because with obsidian you should be able to mine cobalt, and if you find it, why the hell not? It takes ages to cool down. Thank you. Yeah, mining level cobalt. Uh, just in case, we are going to give you a diamond. There is also a very high chance that I'm going to die. Oh, we need that. Ladies and gentlemen, see you in heaven. Don't kill me. Why is it day zero? What is that? <laughs> oh, that's what we need. Heat sand. Oh, there's one next to the portal. Amazing. There was... Oh, it fell down. And I don't have a shovel. It's a good thing it fell down. You know, I arrived and apparently a lot of people died. I'm not gonna complain. Oh, we have the Endermites thingy. Nethermite. I don't know what their name is. Diamonds? Love. <gasps> that scared me. Okay, maybe we don't touch the ores that much. Can I mine cobalt? Don't explode. We also have Aratites. We can have a fancy sword. Oh, more cobalt. You're a demon pig. I'm the only demon, you stupid idiot. By visiting the nether, we have everything that we are going to need. So there was no need to be greedy, but this is cobalt. And I guess even if I die, it's not that horrible. That's lava. I forgot what they do. You just stand there. Okay. Fine by me. Stay there. They are dropping something. I don't know what they're dropping. What is that white thing? A quartz. Okay. Someone fell down. With an epic loot bag. Yeah, it's epic. Because it's purple. As I have already mentioned, there is no need to be greedy. We have most of the things that we wanted. And even things that we didn't want. Oh, and by the way, I got a diamond ore. It exploded, but it also dropped. We can get rid of the yellowium as well. And we can put the heat sand. This is like 40 times faster. Also, just before we wrap up, for the 500th time today, we're going to upgrade our tools. And yes, I wanted manulin, don't you worry. That one was on purpose. This isn't that epic. But you give me blaze rods. Awesome. We upgrade the pick with cobalt and also my hammer. It has better durability, so why not? And for the sword, we go with manually. 
obviously. I think this was much more worth it than a mob farm. Yeah, we do almost 10 damage. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.